So my name is Tiffany Stewart Stanley and I'm the Director of External Affairs for Douglas County. And today we are here to honor one of Douglas County's true treasures. I'd like to welcome, welcome and thank all of you for coming. I had the pleasure of meeting Ms. Suzanne Hudson about seven months ago when I first started my position. And I have to tell you, she has quickly become one of my favorite people in Douglas County. She has done magnificent things to put Douglas County on the map from coordinating events like the Hydrangea Festival to diligent, diligently working to preserve Douglas County's history. She has made an everlasting mark on this county. Suzanne has worked hard to preserve our history and make it available to everyone. And once again, I'd like to thank you guys for coming and welcome you here. So now we will have a few words from Ms. Virginia Pope, who will be representing the Douglas County Tourism and History Commission. Thank you. When they asked me to do this, my instructions were two or three sentences. I said, I could write a book on Suzanne Hudson. <laughs> because we started really our friendship and good working relationships many, 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 they tell me more than 30 years ago <laughs> at the Art Center. And it was there that we started collecting a few old items in one room and the vision grew to a dream of a museum for Douglas County and Douglasville. That first uh, idea began to take shape because the county commissioners appointed a history and tourism commission. And uh, it's still existing today. Joe Phillips, Suzanne and I are the remaining original members of that commission. We uh, worked hard with our vision. This building, as you very well know, was supposed to be demolished. And we decided that would certainly be a worthwhile project to see if we could save it from demolition. When it was actually vacated, it was in horrible condition. I hope you've all had a chance to walk around today and see, you know, really and truly, as impatient as we are, the building itself has come a long way. We are proud to take people on a, uh, a tour and to introduce them to the history of Douglas County. From the very beginning, Suzanne was the chairman. She was the chairman of the Historic uh, His Tourism and History Commission. And as we moved on and developed the museum, then she became the, uh, the chairman. Joe became the chairman of the, uh, the museum aspect. And as a result, you can see we have something that we can all be proud of. In the beginning, we started working with absolutely no funds, all volunteers. But today, thank goodness, we've reached the point where we can have some part-time paid employees. And we are open five days a week. In the beginning, we had to be open two afternoons a week, and people couldn't find us. They would come to the doors, and the doors were locked, so they never knew when, really when to come. The museum, the Hydrangea Festival, and the events that we started here are events that we're all proud of. We have a Hydrangea Festival, as was mentioned before, that is recognized nationally because it was started right from the beginning and each year gets better and better. And through all of this, we had Suzanne, who was passionate, tireless, dedicated, and determined that we were going to have a Douglas County Museum of History and Art. She deserves this recognition today, so I think we all should be very pleased with what she's done 
and give her all the support we can. Thank you. Thank you, Mrs. Pope, for those wonderful words. Next, we will hear from our county administrator, Mr. Mark Till. He'll come up and give a few words of congratulations for Ms. Suzanne Hudson. Well, they asked me to say a few sentences, and I'm going to comply with their request. But I'd just like to thank Suzanne for all her hard work and dedication. And she couldn't have done it without all the staff and, in, and the volunteers. But she was a great leader in that respect. And we thank you. And happy birthday. <laughs> And next, we will hear from Commissioner Mike Mulcair. Uh, let's all stand and sing happy birthday. <laughs> and to you know whom. One, two, three. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Susan Susan. Happy birthday to you. Thank you. Thank you. You know, Douglas County is, is a wonderful place to live, and the reason that it is is that we are, we are doubly blessed. Uh, we have a community that engages and participates in so many uh, cultural, charitable, artistic endeavors in this county, and I remember I said doubly blessed. The other blessing is that we have leaders, spark plugs, instigators, agitators <laughs> within our community, and, and one of the premier leaders in our community is Suzanne Hudson. Thank you, Commissioner Mulcair. And now we will have a presentation from the Chairman of the Douglas County Board of Commissioners, Dr. Ramona Jackson-Jones. Thank you all so much. Uh, I would like to start with saying this is the day that the Lord has made. But before I go forward to talk about this great woman today, I would like to introduce her mother who's here today. And I would like for her to stand. Mother, please. This would not be possible. Thank you. So, and her, her son is here. Son, would you please stand? This is Miss Hudson's son. And is she aunt or? Please stand, grandmother. Please, we have a grandmother. Yes, grandmother. Thank you. And I believe Suzanne's sister is here today. All right. Thank you so much. Today we honor Miss Suzanne Hudson. Suzanne, happy birthday again. And what a better time and a better day to, to celebrate this special day. You are a historian. Uh, a curator for all this wonderful history here in Douglas County. And I thought, as I was sitting at my desk, I said, how could a leader move a county forward without recognizing history? Miss Virginia Pope and Mr. Phillips, I honor you as well today for all the hard work that you've done to just keep our history vibrant here in Douglas County. Uh, Susan has a, she's um, known for her ability to make gardens look beautiful. She's been featured in many magazines throughout the country and newspapers. So that's really her, that's I guess her sweet spot, but I wanted to shed some different light on her today with regard to history. She's also very instrumental in uh, making our hydrangeal festival, festival very successful in D Douglas County, and we thank you for that as well, Ms. Hudson. But today I want to honor you because of what you've done for this county. Um, actually, some 15 years ago, you and a few civic-minded uh, citizens such as yourself have worked tirelessly to move this museum forward in this old courthouse. The old courthouse was built in the year that I was born, and I feel so honored 59 years later to be here. It was born, this building was built in 1958. So this is an honor for me to stand before you 59 years later. Later, I'm humbled, and you are a phenomenal woman. Uh, we thank you for revamping and bringing in over 200 uh, collections, including a number of mid-century, 20th century uh, items, rotating exhibit, exhibits throughout the state. 
Uh, also, you've uh, paid respect and honor to the Native Amer American culture. We really appreciate that, the pioneers, African American culture and history as well. The Civil, Civil War, Lithia Springs, and you've looked at pop and culture as well, and some fine furnishings you have brought on. And you have not forgotten the millennials either, so thank you. As a leader of Douglas County, I believe that it is important to pay homage to history and to those individuals who have gone far beyond the ordinary to ensure present and future generations have a means and the experience of understanding history in our wonderful county, Douglas County. Let's give Douglas County a hand, please. On behalf of the Douglas County Board of Commissioners, all my fellow commissioners, we have Commissioner Mulcair here and Commissioner Guider, and on uh, behalf of Commissioner uh, Robinson and also Commissioner Mitchell, we thank you for what you are doing in the county and also your colleagues as well. I want to bring you up for a second, have something I would like to present to you, Ms. Hudson, Mrs. Hudson, thank you. Suzanne. Suzanne. You know I call you Suzanne off the record. I just didn't want <laughs> Suzanne, it is a pleasure and a privilege, and I would like to ask my fellow commissioners to come forth with me just to hand her this, if you could. Commissioner Guider and Commissioner Mulcair, they know I always put them on the spot. <laughs> That's a good thing. I have to be ready. Thank you. <laughs> Today we honor you, we, re we, we respect you. Um, this county cannot go forward without the history of this county. And I, as the chairman of Douglas County, want to recognize you, celebrate your special day today, and ask that you just continue doing what you're doing. And I, when I get a moment in time, which I always do, <laughs> I like to come and just look at what you've added to our respect as a veteran, what you've done for the veteran community and we appreciate you. And I'm gonna give you an opportunity to speak today. I present this to you, this says, Suzanne Hudson, Douglas County Trailblazer Historian, proclaimed by Dr. Ramona Jackson Jones, Chairman, and also the Douglas County Board of Commissioners, August 30th, 2017. Mm. So thank you so much, this is yours. Mm. We said we ask that you cherish it and just remember us. We'd like you to come say a few words, please. Okay. Well, I have to say, no one person does any project of any size alone. We have so many volunteers that are precious to give their time to help gather and clean and label and research artifacts and help us display them. And, um, but it's a labor of love for everyone who works here, I think. Uh, they enjoy it, and if you ever are fortunate enough to give a tour to some people and see how they enjoy it, it just makes you want to work much harder to bring all this to our community. And not just to our community, over 50% of our visitors are not from Douglas County. They're from other states, other countries, and they enjoy our museum and always thank us about uh, what we have and what we display here. And it's not just history, we do have other exhibits. And we have a wonderful grand piano, and sometimes people are playing it, and sometimes people are singing. <laughs> so visit anytime. Bring your family, bring your friends, bring your people that are visiting from, uh, with you, and enjoy a day at the museum. And I can't thank every volunteer that's been here, and all my board members. Joe, are you going to introduce our board members? Because Stand up if you're on the museum board. Who's here? I don't know who's here. Lisa, Kathy, Joe, Virginia, Mike. I mean, they work tirelessly. So I just want to thank Douglas County for appreciating my work. Thank you so much.